Hi everyone, my name is Esther Griffin, Southeast Youth Programs and Adult Sports Director, and today I want to show you how to make a homemade puzzle. You're going to need a piece of white paper or any color paper that you want to use, a piece of cardboard, some glue, a pencil, and you can use markers or crayons, but I am going to be using paint today, and then a pair of scissors. What you want to start doing is taking your sheet of paper and gluing it to your cardboard. You want to make sure that you get glue around the entire thing so it all is going to be stuck to the cardboard. You don't have any pieces flying up. Take your glued paper and then just press it to your cardboard. Flatten it out. And then wait for it to completely dry. Okay, so now I'm going to draw what I want my puzzle to look like. So I'm just going to do a simple heart and I'll draw it first and then I will use the paint to paint it. And you want it to be light because you really don't wanna see the outline of it. So there's my heart, not the best, but it'll do. So I'm gonna take my paint. I'm going to just put it on the outside layer of the cardboard so I'm not wasting anything. And I'm just gonna color my heart in. And then just so every piece of my puzzle is going to have something, I'm just gonna add a little bit of red in spots. It's a little bit of decoration. Kind of go with the outline of the heart. Okay, so this is the result. And then we are going to sit and wait for it to dry. Okay, so now that our picture is dry, we're going to move on to the next step of cutting. First, we're gonna use our scissors to cut around the white piece of paper so that we just have the white and the cardboard underneath. We don't have any of kind of the extra layers around. Scissors for this thick of cardboard may not be the easiest thing. So I also brought a knife and my cutting board so that I could finish cutting it a little bit easier. So when you're finished, you have this rectangular piece and now you're going to draw your puzzle pieces. So I am just going to do nine. You can do four, you can do three, you can do however many you want. So we'll just draw them on there. So you can see it a little bit, how I drew it on there. We're just gonna complete the puzzle from there. Okay, so this is what my completed puzzle is going to look like. And then from there, I'm going to cut out the shapes.
Okay. So now we finally have our first piece out and I'm going to finish cutting the rest of the eight. Okay, so now that we have all of our pieces cut out, we're going to put it back together. This is what the final product of our homemade puzzle is going to look like. Enjoy.